What's up everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this video party. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys because this video we'll be taking a look at a new anime that really caught my attention with its obscure concept of having two girlfriends at the same time and that would be Girlfriend Girlfriend. So this anime recently came out this past summer and follows the story of high school student Naya who just confesses love to his childhood best friend Saki and is willing to put 110% in this new relationship. Which is cool because this guy pretty much treats his girlfriend like the Queen of England despite Saki's attempts of telling him to tone it down a little. But anyway, while Naya is minding his own business, Nagisa, the quiet shy girl, comes out of nowhere and confesses her love for him. Now any man with common sense would kindly deflect this girl because he's already in a committed relationship. But because this is the first time that he has been confessed to, and because Nagisa is as cute as a puppy, he really can't say no to her. So he comes up with an idea. Let's go ask my current girlfriend if it's okay for me to date another girl while I'm still dating my current girlfriend. I'm sure she'll be fine with that. And once he tells Saki about what's going on, you can pretty much expect some sort of violent reaction towards Naoya. I don't know if this guy has either huge balls or is really stupid for telling Saki about Nagisa. But apparently things somehow work out as all three of them decide to at least try some sort of living arrangement where all three of them decide to live at Naoya's house. Why? Because not only does Naoya think that Nagisa is cute, but Saki thinks that she's cute too, which makes her sort of question her feelings towards the same gender. Don't don't worry, this isn't that kind of anime, but the show does joke about this sort of thing throughout the entire season. And then the show takes off from there as we see all three characters try to make this sort of relationship work despite that each and every one of them is being two-timed. All the while they have to hide this sort of awkward secret from everyone at school. Now what I liked about the show is that it really does put the viewer in a lot of funny awkward situations where you see how both girls are compared to one another as they are both trying to win the heart of our main character. Which not only gives you a lot of wacky adventures to follow along but it also makes you notice that each girl has their own flaws. For Saki when Nagisa came into the picture she soon realized that this new girlfriend can cook and she knows how to keep a clean house. Meanwhile Saki's on the couch playing video games on her phone and this makes her realize that even though she's good at school at home she's pretty much a couch potato and the thought of Naya dumping her for Nagisa it terrifies Saki. Now when you look at Nagisa while some consider her to be the waifu of the story she still has her flaws. For starters she's as dumb as a brick and is really struggling in school to the point where she might drop out and be a stay at home girlfriend. But because Naya is considered to be one of the smartest guys in school he offers to help her which motivates Nagisa into doing well in school. Another thing that I liked about this anime is how throughout this first season you begin to see these three characters slowly get comfortable with one another in this weird relationship despite having several setbacks. One of which is when a YouTuber decides to make Naya fall for her which suddenly makes both Saki and Nagisa join forces in order to prevent this crazy chick from stealing their boyfriend. And I guess you could say that this YouTuber kind of serves as the story's main antagonist as she doesn't know when to take a hint and is constantly pursuing Naya throughout the second half of the season. Now that I've mentioned it, looking back at this show you can see how the first half of this season deals with the struggles of maintaining a relationship while the second half focuses on protecting that relationship which sort of makes Naoya the hero of the story. Honestly I don't know what to make of this guy. On the one hand he's a devoted boyfriend who would probably walk through fire in order to be with his girlfriends but on the other hand he's still a two-timer and is cheating on both girlfriends right in front of each other. By the way for the record I'm team Saki for two reasons. One anime redheads are cute and two if I confessed to the love of my life before being confessed to I would still choose the love of my life because like Naoya I'm a devoted person and I would give 110% of my love towards that one person. Okay this is starting to sound like some sort of campaign video or my alibi in case the love of my life is starting to have doubts. Honey if you're watching this I want you to know that I love you with all my heart and I would walk through fire just to be with you. Okay so Crunchyroll did put on a quiz on which girl from the show would be your girlfriend. I'll be sure to put a link in the description down below. No freaking way I got all three girlfriends on my first try. Apparently I'm a perfect catch for all three girls that are pursuing Naoya. You know now that I think about it this doesn't look good for me so maybe I should clear things up with the love of my life. Honey if you're watching this I want you to know that I love you very much and I would not only walk through fire for you but I would also jump out of an airplane just to be with you. So overall I really enjoyed this little rom-com anime. If you're interested in watching a show about three people trying to be in a committed relationship you should go check out this anime. Well that's gonna do it for this video guys. That was my overall view for Girlfriend Girlfriend. If you like what you saw click the subscribe button so you can get the latest updates from this channel. I'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye bye.